Welcome back. Okay, somebody's out of a nap. Oh, That's hey, good. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm fired up today. Nice and awake, boys. Yeah. Adjust the microphone. Fired up. So, are you ready to get in the truck and head south? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to head east first before we head south. Yeah. We're going to head east, then we're south. Gonna, we're going to go to east and catch them big old copper nose brim uh -huh. over in Mississippi. Yeah. And then we're going to go to my favorite spot on this planet. Florida? Uh, no. Venice. The beach? Uh, no. The marsh. The marsh. Right. The marsh where there is just, it's teeming with all kinds of life. It's just like Venice, Italy, only different. Oh, yeah. And this is teeming with all kinds of life. And here's the good thing about it. Most of it you can cook and eat. There well, you go. Pretty cool. The Cajuns, they, they cook and eat all of well, it. Well, they eat all of it, but I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm a little more picky. Mm. <laughs> hey, I got special instructions for you. What's that? When you get off that interstate in New Orleans, yep. and you go to a little town called Bell Chase, mm. uh -oh. Chase, before yep. you turn left. You want one of them stuffed chickens? Yep. I don't want one of them. Oh, no, he said one. One won't do, baby. Uh, uh, I don't want he one of them. Give him a couple of them. Oh, them things are fine. Oh, uh, they and are you know fine. what? They stuff them with everything. Anything you can imagine. I haven't Anything had a. You can imagine? Look, I haven't had a bad one yet, so just grab what they got. Just say, hey, <laughs> hey, give me four of them and be done. It's normally some type of rice or potato. And then some creature of the earth shoved into a chicken Ooh, with, some cheese. with sausage, some cheese. With sausage, cheese always got to have some cheese, boys. <laughs> yep. Sausage, boudin. No cheese. boudin. Throw the boudin away. I, I do don't wonder like though. Boudin. How do they take all the bones out of a chicken and leave him whole? Slowly. Is it? Or is there like a machine that's like? Whoosh, I don't know. I don't know how to debone a chicken like that. But they leave him whole. But he ain't got no bone in. It's pretty impressive. But the boneless chicken thigh was the greatest thing ever invented. The I like it. Yeah. Chicken thigh. Then you can grill it and put barbecue sauce on it and hey. Yeah. And you I don't even wish, have to cut it. You just yeah. put the whole thing in I just wish they'd leave the skin on. Whoever decided skinless chicken right. was better. But I guess. It's better for you, but it ain't. No, it's not better. We have a long history on chicken skins in our yeah. opinion. Our opinion of them, Martin. I just don't understand why when you take the bone out, the skin's got to go too. Well, I, don't make no sense. I just soon, if they had a boneless skin full chicken thigh, oh man, that'd be so. Ooh, I'd chicken fry them suckers every ooh, night. <laughs> I mean, I'd I'd be back to three thirteen. We're back so on fast. food, make boys. your head spin, hey, son. Back on that. Hey, you tell this bunch like food. Three thirteen. Yeah. So hey, how many stuffed chickens do you want? I don't care. You know, there's a place. Whatever you got room for. <laughs> whatever you got room after you make the, after hey, the fish. The whole no, no. After the fish grocery haul. There's a place in town that sells them. And I haven't had one yet. I think yeah. they're buying it. They're relocating them from down south. Yeah, I think they just end up charge you. But uh -huh. See, they're going down there anyway. Yeah. So I saw them in the gas station the other day. I said, <gasps> Plus, they don't. If you can go get them in town, they lose like a part of their R. A little mystique. Yeah, like, see, you got to go to Bell Chase to get them. That's the cool nah, thing. that place in uh, Lafayette's got good ones, too. Yeah, yeah, it's solid. What's Maurice? But Bell Chase means you're going fishing. So. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, yeah. that's right. It's just, it's, it's a story. That means you're going to the Marsh. <laughs> That's it. Size favorite place on planet Earth. He did say that's where he would move. If he had to relocate, oh, no, no. Home. that's his spot. Because well. you got to think about it. The only thing, the only bad thing I, I know of down there. Is when a hurricane hits. Mm, yeah. Otherwise, everything's good. The weather's nice. We got plenty of wildlife of all sorts. I got to know something, though. You just hard headed enough. You live in, in Port Sulphur, Louisiana. Port Sulphur? Because that's the start of the marsh, essentially, down there. Oh. Hurricane's coming. You staying or you going? I would probably ride it out. Yeah. I would probably ride it out. I just uh, had to know. Yeah. I, I, I figured More than you likely would. I, no, I ain't. I don't like. No, no. I'd write it out. Your yeah, boy's well, gone. Hey, look, like when you when it's your your time, it's your time. You'd see Sal on a weather channel behind Cantori, son. Just yeah. well, hey, no, I wouldn't listen to weather men or weather weather women. And look, we got all this technology. They shouldn't miss it. But hey, you got to understand it in a way. Ain't no technology. Well, they just read the computer print. Well, no, though, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Most of the buildings where the weather people are at does not have windows. So once they go inside, 
They have no idea what's going on outside. That's not a that's not a terrible okay. point. <laughs> I, I'm being honest with you. One of my favorite follows on social media is that Reed Timmer guy, the extreme meteorologist. Oh, that goes everywhere? He cracks me up. Oh, no, no, no. The best one I've ever heard. But he in, gets out there in it. He ain't I, in a building. He well, out no, there no. saying. Hey, don't, don't mess with my man, Jared hey, Floyd. There's a, I don't even know his West name. West Monroe's finest. But he's Jared a, got a chip he's on a his co- shoulder. comedian, <laughs> and they call him the hippy-dippy weatherman. Man? The hippy-dippy weatherman man? Man. man. Yeah. He's a comedian. I don't know what his name is, but he's hilarious. Hippy-dippy weatherman man. Yeah, yeah. He's yep. a comedian. He's hilarious. Can't okay. put that on a t shirt. That was back, you know, in the sixties. Okay. Oh, was wow. when he was, you know, going around on the circuit. George Carlin. There it is. Oh. George Carlin. <laughs> the hippy dippy weather man. Also man. known as George yeah, Carlin. Hippy dippy weather man. <laughs> yeah. man. Mr. Mr. Carlin a little vulgar back yeah. in the day. Well I now, hey, I, yeah. <laughs> he did have he did have a, a vocab- vocabulary problem. Yeah, I I've okay. I've watched some George <laughs> Carlin specials. Okay, back in the sixties everybody had a vocabulary problem. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah, they, nothing's changed. But hey, some of the greatest music that ever had been written or sung was in the sixties, baby. And you can take that to the bank and deposit it. <laughs> okay. No, so me and me and Sire are gonna hop in that rig and head and head to Venice. But That's it. I've always said, Sire, that if my wife ever decides to up an R U N N O F T Whatever that means. That's where, run that's off. where I'm going. Run off, okay, run off, okay. So we're hey. Ever since oh. you got hit by that train, <laughs> moving south. <laughs> Get by. Every, hey, by everything train. is going south. He's bona fide. And all the animals are coming north. What? Are yeah. they? Oh yeah. Everybody the animals are coming north? north, but all the animals are moving north. Where'd you see this? Well, hey, it's been in the news. Is all I tell you. <laughs> the news is telling you that the animals are going north. Are going north. Uh, from Venice? Huh? Well, no, That's as south yeah. as it gets. Hey, hey, no, 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 it ain't. Hey, Amazon is for the south as you get. Uh, so you're saying everything's moving south, uh, north, son. So the South American oh, animals yeah, the, are coming the for cats us? cats and all the things, they're moving north. Uh, oh, panthers. Black That's right. Panthers, Black. boys. Jaguars. <laughs> they're heading north. I mean, I'll uh, bite. Hey. You think so? I, I'm just saying I heard it on 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 the media somewhere. Okay. Animals, either radio more. or whatever, television <laughs> or whatever. Tropical species say. are moving northward in U.S. <laughs> As winter. You doubted me. That was 2021, though. Well, hey, I'm just saying I heard it somewhere. See, I'm always got my ear to the grapevine, son. Migrators. <laughs> migrators. It's like those migrating hey. squirrels. Right. Hey, yeah. I loved that. Hey. That was something to see. You really? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm serious. That was something to see. Was we'll sit down in the woods and just all you see through going through the trees is squirrels and they never stop. Let's act like that squirrel and get going to our first break. All right. Back to first break. JD? Yes, sir. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling great. How are you hey, feeling? Hey, good. I'm feeling great, too, because you know why? I got a feeling you're going to tell me. Hey, well, hey, look, it's only found one place on this planet. Where is the it? Pristine Venice, Louisiana. New oh. Zealand. The pristine okay. waters a, of New on Zealand. On a vine-like green thing that grows out of the ocean floor. <laughs> and then what do they do with that? Hey, look, <laughs> they harvest it, okay, and then they turn it into to a process, Omega XL, boys. And Omega XL does what for you? Hey, look, <laughs> your SPMs are like, you know, when you get old, they don't produce as good. So, hey, this does it for you. Amen okay? and amen. Look, and, and it has to do with, okay, your joints, boys. You got about 360 of them in this whole body. And every once in a while, they have inflammation in them, feeling bad. But I call them my first responders, J.D. And they turn on them sirens. Oh, yeah. Look, I take them with a little shot of tea. They turn on the siren. Just light speed to the place where it hurts, the joints. They take care of business. And, hey, Mm. I'm back as, you know, it's like a fountain of youth, Jack. Thank you. Okay. Tell them how you can get this oh, fine here we product go. Look, there, if Martin. you need to rejuvenate your joints, get rid of some inflammation, all you got to do is give Omega XL a try. They can restore your SPMs, 
I mean, what else do you need That's as you right. age? It's That's like all you need. It's like you come up on the fountain of youth, boys. Look, and right now you can order Omega XL and get a second bottle for free. Not yeah, one, baby. but two. You bottles. catch that? For free. It's a second bottle and it's free. That's right. All you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. Is anything noteworthy going on out in the world around us? <laughs> You're the one that watches the news. You're telling no, us what's on the news. I don't watch the news. You just the news is too boring. <laughs> it's not. Okay, and there's usually nothing on it worth watching. It's depressing, that's for sure. That's it. <laughs> so all my information comes from uh, like public TV and all this good stuff. Uh, well, have you seen anything good? No, on? no. That's kind of been. Uh, Mediocre here lately, too. Everything on the television yeah. set hey, is mediocre. I, I guess it's because it's the rerun season. You know, what if probably. somebody came up with a news channel and the only news they reported was good? Was positive news. Yeah. Was that dude good. from The Office did that. And when you think about millions that, of people watched his YouTube channel, he only did it for like a month or two. Was, yeah, but just think about what you just said. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I'm serious. Everything good that's happening in this world around us, somebody actually captured it and then reported it on the TV. Because there's plenty of it happening. That's news. On the TV. Yeah. Yeah, or radio. Or the black <laughs> or the black box. Hey, or the, or the media. Yeah. Yeah. Where are I'm, all the good reporters gone? Evidently we don't have any. <laughs> okay. We don't got any good reporters, no good hey, weather I'm in people. A negative, I'm in a negative slump today, boys. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. In your opinion, what do we do well? Huh? Yeah, let's hey, what do say we something do? positive oh. about the world. Yeah. You just hit me with I don't know what to say now. Okay. See, you, that's why you can't report you, good news. Yeah, you right there. You've just you're hit talking me. about nothing but negativity. Yeah. Talking about you've this just is hit terrible, me this where is I terrible. Live, I guess. But you want a good and news. I ain't channel. got something to say. Yeah. The most positive man in America. I That's put him it. on the spot hey. to say yeah. one good yeah. thing about and this And then country. I couldn't come up with it. He got nothing. In the clutch. <laughs> That's terrible. I apologize, folks. See? <laughs> good grief. What has the... happened to the duck yeah. call room? Right. Mm. Put me on the spot and I, I blew it. Oh. oh, there's a lot of good going on. But so, it's, it's definitely. Well, the latest thing that I know of, I remember just, you know, a while back. That kids were going to the nursing home and doing things for the people that are that are medically can't get out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was pretty cool. So there are good good kids out there that are doing good stuff. You know, most of the time all you hear is the bad stuff they do. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, you know, and there are a bunch of good kids out there, and there are a bunch of good people out there still left that well, are doing good things. But what a Helping what a their neighbors. What a concept that is. Yeah. Good news. Yeah. What what a relief that would be to turn on the television and the six thirty news and it's all positive. Mm -hmm. Is that the news that you watch six thirty? Well, what six o'clock? Yeah, sometimes I I hit the five o'clock news, but most of the time it's the six. <laughs> I'm looking for good news. I just ain't found it yet. I found I one. I didn't want y'all to think I wasn't well, paying attention. I, I did I'm find looking. one good news. Did you? Yes. I, I thought I had one here, it's but rare. it said. It's rare to find it. I'm serious. I was about to say, whoa, 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 I got one. But then I read, I finished reading the headline. Yep. Here's here's just, here's just where we're at. Just church plans to host event for kids featuring a drag show. Huh. A drag show. A, so, like a drag race? No. I haven't read it, no. but when I see no. drag show, no, I'm I pretty drag, sure. Drag show, that means, no. Yep. Okay. How's that good news? Well, it wasn't. No, when that's what first, I said. When I when said, he first said the first of it, I was reading good. church plans yeah. to host event for kids, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, yeah. we got oh, one." Then I kept going. I said, and "Then they turned in what they was actually doing." There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's where we're at. Yeah. People that's are at. weird. That's where we're at. Yeah. I do have one good news. I well, what what's is good news? A passenger with no flying experience landed an airplane after his pilot went down. Huh. Oh. He got on the radio and said, uh, "Need y'all talk me through this." Pilots this. out. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna give it my best shot, and he did it. Oh, I do have something good to report. Here it is. You'll like this. Okay, right. 
Sunday I go to church. I get in the thing after being stoned talking. I give him the cake carrier and uh, some mail that goes to Phil. What? I get in my truck and go home, and on the way home. Little Frog made him a cake. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no uh, man made it. Oh, my by wife. The way, no, tell her it was delicious. Oh, I will. Okay, <laughs> she she knocked it out of the park. But anyway, <laughs> I'm on the way home, and the guy, he's preaching on the, on the radio. And he said, oh, by the way, I've got this coolest story, and I wish I'd remember the guy's name that he was talking about. He said, but hey, look. This guy sitting in his living room, okay, and, and it's raining, big time rain, okay, and it's flooding, and he looks outside, and in a ditch in front of him, okay, a child is fighting the current, huh. okay? So the next thing he does is he runs outside, okay, and he jumps in because he, he knows that the, the ditch is fixing to run into a cupboard, go on the ground, and then go, you know, out on another cupboard underground. So this young lady's fixed to drown is what's going to happen. So look, he runs, jumps in, gets to her, grabs her, okay, and then looking and he's just, you know, frilling around holding the girl and his arm hits something and it's a rock on the edge of the bank. So he says, well, maybe I can hold on and help her arrive. You know, and then he says, then the preacher says, okay, and now I'm going to turn the rest of the story over to Paul Harvey. Well, Paul Harvey says, well, hey, what's so amazing about this story is that this man, and he named him, cannot swim. Yet, there just, he went. now there's the definition of faith. This dude knows he can't swim. But yet he sees a child in danger and head first goes and saves her. Okay. Said so we'll figure it out later. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Yeah. So I thought that's one good thing. That's the coolest thing I've heard all week. Okay. As a guy risked his life not even thinking because he, he wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about that young lady in the water. And he saves her when he can't swim. That's, How cool is that? That's real. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. real. That's, that's real, boy. There's the yeah. good news. Yeah, that's good Look, news. And I found some more good news. Y'all want to hear it? Oh, yeah. yes. Put it on. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ric Flair, to, baby. Set to return to the ring one final time. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, wait, wait till your blonde tornado hear that. Oh, I know it. She'll He's going to be fired up, boys. He found Stage. some more good Rick news. Ric Flair is going to yep. be we're back one time back in the ring, boys. He gonna have that little strut. Son. That's it. Oh yeah. And then he'll throw somebody down and whoop him. <laughs> whoop him. Put <laughs> him in the figure like four it. leg lock. That's it, boys. Hey. Uh, uh, we're back on track. <laughs> Rick Flair. <laughs> right. Rick Flair back to the ring, boys. We're back on. Uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we got civilians landing planes, oh, hey, people hey, that can't swim, that's saving that's babies, that's cool. and yeah. Ric Flair. But that's it, boys. Ric Flair is back in the ring one more time. Hey, you know it's good to be <laughs> on this earth. <laughs> people complain, but, I mean, it's going all right. Look, hey, oh, yeah. every cloud, every dark cloud has a silver lining, Jack. That's right. That's all it is to it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We back on top, baby. <laughs> I would love to know what just goes on through your head on a daily basis. Hey, Martin said it one time. If I fire fell and cracked my cranium, here comes unicorns and butterflies, baby. That's it. Mixed with some rainbows. <laughs> right, and with rainbows. But yet the man can't give us a positive thing. But he don't on the spot. He couldn't do. He it. Just don't like the weather. Hey, the weather the people I threw him have, off. I couldn't handle the pressure. Don't, what it was. don't put him on the spot. That's right. Don't put me on the spot. I can't have it. Same oh, thing. But he got is... a shotgun in his head. He, you, <laughs> That's can't, right. you can't put him out there. Don't put him in, coach. No. Don't give him the ball. <laughs> don't give him the no, ball. No, somebody in Houston the other day said something to me, and I said, "No, nah, I don't really care about duck hunting anymore." <laughs> yeah. It's over. And he looked, you know, the guy, it was just shocked. He said, What? And I said, I've actually become a deer hunter. I said, I would rather go sit in the stand and and watch all the deer we got. I can't wait to deer see no. I really can't. I guess I need to be looking for another job. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no, I'm serious. Yeah. 
Oh, time, I will go. It's time now. to. It's no, time don't to. Give me, no, don't get me wrong. I will go. <laughs> time to uh, polish uh, off my uh, LinkedIn that, resume. Hey, hey, hey look, no. it's probably that, got that to be. That being do. said, that being said, when I pick yeah. up the phone, I called him. I said, we, I found some ducks. Uh oh. It's like, oh, I'll, I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. I'll be there in the morning. I was so worried fair weather. Done, I yeah. thought he'd done oh, turned into a full blown Willie, but he's only just a, a touch of Willie. Yeah. <laughs> no, you fair weather. That's what. Oh it yeah. Is. yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna fine. grind it out no more. That's fine. No. You're seventy four. You've earned that right. No, no. That's well, right. see, I think that's what it is. His old age. Yeah, yeah. You've earned that right. Because yep. seeing deer hunting, all you gotta do, you just, you know, he drives me all the way up to the stand. I get out, and walk <laughs> upstairs. He goes and parks the rig. You know, so we sit there. Yo, know, and deer are fun to watch. Okay, because they, it's a comedy act when they just are doing what they do. You know, does are slapping other does and knocking them down and stuff. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm serious, no it's, it's hilarious. Then you throw in all the coons we've got on Phil's property, okay, and they come in and, you know, no, it's a, it's a, it's a comedy routine. It really is. Feels like you real life watching PBS. Oh, no, no. I'm serious. It's a comedy routine. That's what it is. He gets to watch his favorite show in action. That's it. Yeah. Really ah. right. Then, you know, all the deer run away, and you go, what scared them? You know, and then you look, and here comes a bobcat. Or Jimmy Red. <laughs> no, or Jimmy Red, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Phil. Yeah, or Phil <laughs> driving by, you know. <laughs> just at the right moment. Okay, right before you know, dark. four-wheeler. <laughs> you know, I have no idea what they're doing. You know. Oh, man. Well, let's take another uh, break. We'll be back right after this. Yeah. Si, the what? way you come in today, I'm, I'm assuming you had a good night's sleep. Is that is that correct? Oh, hey, I slept on a cloud last night. So, it's yeah. Always sleeps good, Always baby. good, boys. Hey, that cloud you're sleeping on is a helix, ain't it? Well, that's it. So we've had them things quite a while now. you still giving it two thumbs up, right? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we have had that a long yep. time. I know, and it, it ain't is, it ain't worn out. It is like, wonderful. There ain't a hole in it. it I hasn't generally changed a bit. I can generally waller out a pretty good hole yeah. in a mattress because yep. let's face it, I ain't small. <laughs> so you know, you waller them out. Is that what you said? Yeah, a lot of times they get like where I go oh, to no, get no, in no, it, and then I just fall in it like yeah. a canoe. Oh, <laughs> these things <laughs> well they, made. They actually sink. Not these, though. Well, I'm just saying most mattresses do. But these are top of the line. After use, prolonged use, they usually... They get a little your, bow in them. Your imprint is there, yeah. so to speak. But it's cool because Helix Sleep has a quiz. It takes us two minutes to complete. Like, you answer some questions, answer it for you, answer it for your spouse, answer it for both of you, and they match one directly for you because, let's face it, you don't want another person's mattress you want one designed for you we we all into custom everything custom duck calls custom this custom that might as well have your mattress custom too it is. johnny d what'd you end up with when you took the i quiz? was the moonlight soft cloud just nice and that's, cozy uh, midnight that's, moonlight that's fitting cloud. you know it really is <laughs> and that's fitting i'm soft I, and cozy uh, you are and you just had a birthday so happy birthday all in one whacking look helix is awesome but you don't have to take our word for it helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by gq and wired magazine they're recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and sleep medicine doctors. Look, that, that's just what that's just what happens. All you have to do right now is go to helixsleep.com slash duck, take their two-minute quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life, 10-year warranty, and you can try it out for 100 nights risk-free. You don't like it, they'll come back and get it. And right now, they're all, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck. Helixsleep.com slash Last dark. I did see that the United States women's deaf team won the, the soccer gold medal. Women's what team? They're deaf and a soccer team. So everybody's deaf, but oh. they play oh, soccer. I, oh, speaking of that, speaking of that, okay, I watched Boston just strap the Bucks the other night. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't watching no ball playing. Oh, I did the other night. That was fun to watch because they was. You were the hey, only person that thought that. Forty-one point, yeah. uh, forty-one percent on threes. Forty-one percent. Go ahead and roll it. Hey, yeah, it was it was amazing to watch them. Basketball. Yeah. Oh yeah, this yeah. were. Those I were... watched Boston just strap the Bucks. Huh. Okay, but hey, mm -hmm. yeah, hey, if you're shooting forty-one percent on threes, and they're shooting like. Two. The Bucks were shooting 16%. Mm -hmm. You're fixing to get beat badly. Last time I watched the Celtics play basketball, mm -hmm. Larry Bird 
was playing. Oh, that was when it was. What year that, was that? That was 86. when it was basketball, yeah. boys. That wasn't basketball. That was fist fight. Oh no no no! That which was, was more fun to watch. Oh, that was, that was basketball back then. Oh yeah. You know, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Bill Thomas, all them guys. Oh, those Detroit hey, Pistons. Throwing behind their backs, not even looking at throwing all the way down court and let the guy dunk it. You know, just oh, it was fantastic basketball back in them days. He nailed the per- three point percentage from the Celtics. Buck. Oh no no no! Look, <laughs> are you right serious? Now. Every yeah, time it was, it, it ended up forty and percent for the Celtics and twelve percent for. Oh, the- and one guy was like nineteen for nineteen. Whoa! Oh. Mm. Number twelve. He was seven for 18. Oh, I thought it was 19. 19. Still they, really good. They said so. I guess it was 19 points, maybe. Your story's, bro. No, he got 21 at least. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Seven times three. Well, Hashtag well, I'm math. Saying, I'm just saying, hey, <laughs> there was 19 in there somewhere. I thought yeah. it was 19. I, it may have been team-wise. I mean, he did put up three touchdowns, which is impressive. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. When you think about it, hey, yeah. Like you said. Basketball just ain't my jam. I don't know. I don't mean oh, when they fire on the three-point, I love it. Well, that's okay. just a shooting contest. Well, no. You might as well be Whoever's watching Whoever's got the ball at the end is going to win it. Because, hey, you know, that zip, zip, zip. I used, I used to really enjoy the March Madness. You know, that was. Yeah. That was that was only basketball. Well, I no, no, because really college is way fun, more fun watching. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they do some silly stuff, too. <laughs> silly? You know, like one, yeah, when Christian stepped in the guy's. After knocking him down, then he stepped in his chest. You just want to watch Ric <laughs> Flair no. pro wrestling. Well, no, no. Well, hey, look. With a hooping you know. ball. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> I do like a good uh, – You'd probably really like scuffle. watching me play church league basketball. Well, oh, That's no, what that you're into. Always, <laughs> no, no. That was always the blast because, look, we had a guy that played with us. He was a farmer. Okay, he's six six. okay. Weighs about – Three fifteen, maybe maybe three thirty, and no no fat, all muscle. Six six three for yeah, third. and he didn't wear. He didn't was wear Aaron tennis. Donald. Yeah, he didn't wear any tennis shoes. He went barefooted and he didn't have on nothing but overalls. <laughs> yeah, and look, hey, country strong boy. You know, he he reminded me of Zach a lot, you know, because he just knocked everybody out of the way and then did what did what he was going. Who do. is Zach? Who's Zach? Oh, uh, uh, she could uh, Zach. Jack. Jack. Yeah. Jack. Okay. I thought we were talking about Zach Dasher pushing people. No, like, hey, no, no not Jack, wrong. Jack, the big man. <laughs> he can't okay. do that in skinny jeans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, but, hey, the best part of that was, look, he bought, this guy bought a brand new bull, okay, breeding bull. Who is the, You were friends with this, this guy? Yeah, he played on our church league. And he wore overalls and no shoes to no the shoes. gym. Okay. Yeah. But he just sure. bought a brand new bull. Well, no, 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 no. You got. I don't hey. know how we're. I don't know you, where we're going, but I. Oh love no, it. no, no! Look, you'll love this. Okay. Did he look, ride it to the game? You know uh, these big red handkerchiefs that clowns wear. Uh huh. Giant one. Okay. Was his name Mongo? <laughs> no, but he looked like him a lot. But anyway, <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. So this guy's got one of them giant, uh, giant, 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 giant bandanas. bandanas. Red handkerchiefs hanging out his overalls. I feel like I'm about to be Jerry Cloward. Oh no, no, no! Look, <laughs> he he had bought this prize breeding bull. Okay. And he went across the pasture for some reason, okay? He didn't hear the bull coming. So the bull runs over him. And he just bought him. He just bought him home. Brought him home. He gets up and dusts the dust off of him. Well, the bull's turning around, and here he comes again. Well, he just sidesteps him and plants his fist right here on that bull. I bet that hurt his hand. Oh, no. He killed that sucker as dead as a hammer. <laughs> okay. Look. <laughs> Look, his wife is watching all this, so she runs out and said, Hey, you just paid something like fifty thousand dollars for that breeding bull. What are we gonna do now? And he and he said, Call the neighbors, we figured to have a barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, they put that baby on the spit, boys. <laughs> yep. And the whole community had a party. Yep, I got Jerry Clower. Hey, well, I'm just saying, hey. All right off. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love this man, okay? He just lost 50 grand, and the only thing he says, hey, call the neighbor. We figured to have a barbecue party. <laughs> Ain't no way a bull back in worth 50 grand. Oh, hey, I'm just telling you. And he punched it, and it died. Hey, he punched it. Hey, and you one. know this man. Oh, yeah, I know. Played basketball we played, with we played basketball with him. Did you eat this bull? <laughs> hey, yeah. 
We had a party, boys. That was one Barbecue of them wag, Wagyu uh, F1 Tiger Bulls. Did you get in on them mountain oysters? I knew, knew. Oh, I wouldn't no. know. We got an interesting uh, email coming up later uh, about oh, those. Oh, 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 interesting email. Got a little response on that one. Oh, yeah. Somebody from Canada doesn't approve of our distaste for it. No, oh. I, I'm not, I don't know if I don't like them. i just saying. That's it. I ain't that hungry yet. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's with me. You could put that in oysters on a plate. And I ain't touching neither one of them. Oh, okay? no. Oyster, he fire. Oh, no. I can't. Oh, I, I, charboiled oysters. Raw. Raw. Raw oyster. Fried. Fried. Baked. You can eat it. Uh, yeah. I don't really like fried They're not oysters. bad oh, fried. Oh, I do. A, a, a no, I can, I, can, I can deal with them fried. Like a fried oyster. If they boy. fried country. country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was given a fried oyster and told it was a chicken nugget but at the age of about just seven. <laughs> That's a bad call. I had take it out of the ocean yet. water. Uh, pop it open, cut it, and then let's swallow. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm in. I'm in. No, they say it's delicious, but I just can't make myself do it. Just like a little shot of salt. And you, yeah, but hey, and you I don't even like good. horseradish, so you don't do no, cocktail I, I, sauce. No, I uh, I bear back that sucker. <sighs> Put him on a saltine cracker and let's roll. I could eat mm-hmm. horseradish from the spoon. I do like squeeze that lemon. I do sauce. squeeze that lemon over him. But have you ever had that that white? barbecue sauce they call it alabama white sauce mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not a fan i'm a big fan of it. are you it. i'm at mm-hmm. i most mayonnaise white. based sauces i'm not a fan. I, I think so. which yeah, one mayonnaise. is it the Put carolina's in there, I may eat. carolina mustard yeah hey, which one's you vinegar now you got some that's, uh, that's north carolina north carolina, and south carolina. carolina is yeah. mustard, mustard I'm and in on north carolina. Good deal. but the uh, alabama white sauce is uh mayonnaise <laughs> Um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, yuck. yuck Worcestershire. Yuck. I like all oh, these no, things. No. And a lot of black pepper. Black ah. pepper, cayenne pepper. Oh, hey, I'm throw in. everything in there but the mayonnaise. Throw the mayonnaise out the And a dab door. of horseradish. Yep, and yeah, horseradish. I, yeah, it is. Throw the yeah. mayonnaise I'm out in the door. That. But every, the everything you just said yeah. Yeah. makes me happy. Yeah, me too. They dip chickens in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They dip yep. smoked chickens in it. Like, yeah. They'll put the whole thing in it. Oh, I'm for it. have a big old vat and just dip the whole. Oh. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, throw the mayonnaise out and do it till, with all the rest of it. You got something. <laughs> well, you throw the mayonnaise out, it ain't white sauce no more. Well, hey, call it whatever you want to. <laughs> but Alabama had to come up with their own barbecue, I guess. We don't do barbecue. No. Nah, Stone we, does. We deep fry. But we yeah. nobody in the – if you had a good Louisiana barbecue restaurant, you'd, you'd be rich and famous because yeah. nobody – there's not one around. No. There's not many. A couple local places are like, all right, but then you go to Texas and you're like, yeah, this is good. They really got us. Uh-huh. Go to a gas station in Texas, and you're like, wow. Well, most people put, what, a little vinegar, a little uh, olive oil, salt and pepper, shake it up, and put it on meat and say, yeah, that's my barbecue sauce. Olive oil. <clears throat> Which ain't a barbecue sauce. All it is, salt and pepper with a little vinegar. I ain't never had that. But <laughs> me neither. Oh, no. I know a lot of people, that's all they Generally, do. Generally, it's got, that's like, all ketchup they do and their molasses and uh, that kind of yeah. stuff uh, in it. Uh, yeah, I'm confused. But hey, let me tell you something. He's seen it and he remembers it, so I don't yeah. doubt it. Uh, me neither. I, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's old boy that punched the bull to death. That's how he yeah. ate it. I, I ain't that. saying he rain, man, but he punched he that bull one time he and he died. Right in between I, eyes. I, he broke that bone right there. That's hard to do. I don't know if y'all no, have no, ever no. seen a cow. No, no, skull, yeah. but that's a lot of bone oh, and a I lot of. I told you he was there. a man now. Six six about. Three thirty, maybe. And did it barefooted? <laughs> oh, oh no! And you yeah. believe this story? Hey, his wife watched it, and he ate she it. He said, "Do you know what you're eating?" And I said, "She said that's a breeding bull." And I said, "Well, it's really good." Yeah. <laughs> and he oh. punched it. He punched it. Oh, he knocked everybody down on on the basketball team. I just run I'm over and go lay it up, knocking. Me down when he punches a bull one time and the bull dies is when I start raising questions. Hey, look, you wouldn't want to fight him. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> you know, even Ric Flair wouldn't do it, boys. <laughs> Boy, you you had me out when you said six six three thirty. Yeah, I don't know. I said, and does it wear <laughs> shoes and, no, and no wears fat. overalls? Hey, ain't no fat. I'm no, telling you, I ain't got no interest. No, no, in he that, was nobody. like the guy that uh, was here the arm oh, wrestling yeah. championship monster mike yeah that's what his arms look like yeah he's a bull okay he's a horse yeah yeah but monster mike even wears shoes yeah well hey, this guy didn't like shoes i don't blame him <laughs> they didn't have his I, size. I, look his feet oh he probably wore a 14 uh, 
Yeah. Well, his, foot, his foot was like that long. He looked like Bigfoot. Well, Martin weighs a 13. Well, hey, I'm just saying this guy I ain't was a man. No bull. This guy was a man. Boy. I wear a 13, and I'm not even getting in a field yeah. with yeah. a bull. Yeah. <laughs> Much less punch him one. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it was hilarious watching. I'm telling you. He's funny to watch. Let's act like that bull, so I'm going to be back right after this. Yeah, that little... bull didn't come back. Yeah. Look, fortune favors the bold, the strong. And the beautiful. No. no. The brave. The brave, the my brave. bad. Yeah. Oh, I got a chance then. Because look, for your business to break out of anything holding you back, you'd need business checking as brave as you are. And that's why our friends over at Novo Business Checking come into play. Don't get it confused. Novo Business Checking is not a bank, but they are a powerful, simple business checking model. And unlike the traditional banking model, Novo has no minimum balances, no transaction limits, and no hidden fees. They are FDIC insured, so you don't have to worry about your money. Instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, Novo is customized to your business to save you time and free up cash flow they even have seamless integrations into Stripe, Shopify, QuickBooks Online, and more. That's why fans call it the Swiss Army Knife of business checking accounts. And we've all had a Swiss Army Knife. It's cool a, as crap. That's what I'm talking about. Look, signing up for Novo is quick, secure, and free. You can join the community of over 150,000 fearless small businesses who have found the customizable business checking solution that admires the brave. Sign up for your free business checking account right now at novo.co slash duck. Plus, Duck Call Room listeners get access to over $5,000 in perks and discounts. Go to novo.co slash duck to sign up for free. Novo.co slash duck. Novo Platform is a fintech, not a bank. Banking services provided by Middlesex Federal Savings. FA member FDIC. Terms and conditions may apply. So did yeah. you find it, Johnny D? It was for All right. So it was apparently in Japan, was your friend from Japan? No. Okay. Nope. There was a man who founded some form of karate, karate. which is called Kyokushin, and this calls Kyokushin a violent kick you in the nads kind of karate. So this dude was so to prove he was really good at karate, he would. Fight bulls by hand, no weapons. Oh, no, no, that's that's them uh, uh, Mexican bulls. Well, that it, they, that it's they, Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> that they end up sticking sticking swords there at the end of it. So to them fighting bulls, buddy. Hey, so, no, he used his hands. Well, he didn't no, use I sword. Know, but hey, he's going up against a fighting bull, Mexican bull. So uh, this dude, the, uh, what are the, this the is guys a, with the cape? Oh yeah. Yeah, you ever been to one of them? A matador. No. I've been. I went to one in the eight when I was in the Azores. Did you? Yeah, it was pretty intense. Yeah. So this is what this dude did, but no weapons to, uh, to grow his brand of karate. No, no, no. I'm telling you, he, he was karate fighting. chopped him. He was fighting Mexican. Uh, yeah, I don't even know the name of it. Was he six six? I don't know. It doesn't give a height. Did he wear no. overalls? No, to he's get a little, ready, he's a little short dude. <laughs> Jap Japan short dude. He moved into the wilderness, ran, uh -oh. punched trees, lived off the land, ran into trees and, and broke them. rocks with his fist. But then, forty-two times he entered again in the ring with the audience against very big, angry bulls. Yeah, fighting bulls, Mexican bulls. Three of these fights ended <laughs> after just one precision. Punch to the face, it. killing it outright each time. That's it. Wow. It can be done. <laughs> That's proof that my friend did it. Okay. <laughs> that proves it. <laughs> that proves, that it. proves okay. it. It can be done. And look, this was a smaller guy that did it. Okay. He was precise, though, and uh, he used yeah. to punch hey, trees to get better. Oh, yeah. Where what? Where was this friend? Huh? In Dixie, Louisiana, in oh, that area. I was just, I didn't know which part of your world travels yeah. this happened yeah. on. Oh, no. No. Dixie. Dixie. That's where we grew up. Okay. Wait, is there a video? <laughs> I hope not. It may be inappropriate, I understand, and I wish to proceed. Yeah, I'm out. I'm watching this for the rest of the podcast. Somebody videoed him doing oh, it? Oh, that's a Jap Japan guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean I'll your guy you. from Dixie well, wasn't no, video? No, okay, look at it. He's got him by the horse. <laughs> there he went. He's down. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> Jahan, this was with the open hand. Ha! <laughs> 
That is not real. That is 100% real. Oh, you couldn't no. have faked that back then. Hey, I just, hey. I just got dumber. <laughs> <laughs> That's what just happened. Hold on. This. Oh. He was 173 long. centimeters tall. How tall is that? I have no idea. Centimeters or 2.54 in an inch. I have no 173 idea. divided by 2.54. Well, I'm just going to Google 173. Hey, what, what 68 is? inches. He ain't, five eight. Yeah. I was gonna say, he ain't this ain't tall. no six six two thirty. Hey, but them are, hey, I'm telling you, them are Mexican fat bulls. No, these are Japanese Wagyu beef. And Let he, me tell you something right now. That bull had a lot of things going for him. He wasn't fighting nothing. He grabbed him by the horn, yeah. and he was just standing there, and he got karate chopped right between the eyes. There's other people who believe you can punch a bull in the face and kill it. Oh, I have a doubt. Uh, Besides But side. calling those a fighting bull is a very strong, <laughs> yeah. very strong use of the I, word fight. And, and they charge you. I report. That bull looked like he was looking for something to eat. Yeah. It looked like he'd been hand-fed Nilla yeah. wafers his whole life. Yeah. We knocked my drink over. Yeah. Right, man, let me knock your horn off. Yeah. And then I'm going to cleverly not show you hit the ground, but I'm going to show you horn going off to the side over there because the 22 bullet that the old boy shot it with was a little off center. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut back to me laying on top of you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize. We have gone off track. <laughs> it has happened I again. mean, now here's the deal. Y'all believe that, but you don't believe we went on the moon? We got some problems with some editing here. Wait, wait a minute. Area 54. Y'all don't believe we... Y'all don't believe we went to the moon? That's Area 54. Johnny D for show, dog. I, I'm not. Hey. I don't think we did, but that's I'm not saying we didn't. I just hey, don't think we a, did. That's a movie set. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let them have it, Stone. I'm interested. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any words. <laughs> Black oh, Panthers are real. Oh. We didn't go to the moon. Getting karate chop. <laughs> that's right. And you can moon? karate chop a bull in the I face love, and I take him out. That moon, that's out of question. Uh, I love no, it. no way. It's really far away. <laughs> Why haven't we been back? That's what JD always said. Yeah, we, Why ain't we been back? Here's my deal. Oh, boy. The, the live streams what gets like, they put that thing on TV like 20 minutes later, and I'm like, eh. All right, here's what I'll do for you. <laughs> it's a long way. All right, here's, ah, what, I, here's what I'll do for we you. We can barely do that. You can't even do that if you're in the warehouse, like with the tin roof. You wouldn't get it these days. But in 1969, they just pumped that into everybody's living room. All right, okay, I'm sorry. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> that's what that's what makes me doubt it. Why? Well, hey. <laughs> I'm with you, J.D. Thank you. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, because hey, here's what you got to do to prove that it's real. You got to make a telescope that I can see the moon clearly, and I can see the flag that they stuck in the moon. In the moon. They might have oh. shot that up there, like with a really oh, no, big bow and no, arrow. No, yeah, but it ain't no sticking stick. No. I don't know where we're going from here. <laughs> so where are you going to take it from there, buddy? I don't, I don't know what to say to that. That's it. All right. I didn't know you didn't know that Cy didn't think we landed on the moon. No, I had no idea. I mean, well, look, it, it, hey, it, it I'm just saying, hey, they got an Area 54 in the desert. Yeah. And it's got big high fences, electric, and all this, you know. Yeah. Four? There you it go. Is. Uh, there I think it's is. 51. And, and that, yeah. was a, you know, that was a disco in New York City. But it, it I did not know that, but it does not. <laughs> surprise me at all. <laughs> where are we at, boys? I don't know. We're back. That's where we're at. We're in that mailbag. Hello yeah, at no. duckcallroom.com. Mailbag, com. boys. Johnny D. What we got? It's your time to shine, son. That's right. You're all right. right. Well, Marcus is upset with us. Marcus? Uh -oh. Marcus from... What's upset Marcus? Alberta, Canada. Canada. A few episodes back, you guys were talking about the Rocky Mountain oysters and how gross they are. Did we say they were gross? No. No. I said I didn't try them. No. I can't speak to I them. I don't think anybody here has tried them. No. Uh, yeah, I might have said they were gross. I didn't mean that they tasted gross because that ain't going in my mouth. Um, but again, no. it's the thought that I think is gross. I used to think you guys were real men, but now you're sounding like a bunch of city dwellers. <laughs> All because we won't. I mean, <laughs> hold on, let me finish. I mean, you eat snakes. No, I do not. No, I do. Uh, and oh. all kind of reptiles. I ate some reptiles. Frogs. That creeped Frogs. him out. Amphibians. But anyways, Amphibians. he just wanted to share some pictures uh -oh. Uh -oh. of how we do it on the ranch. Every year when Brandon calves, we whack them. Turn them into a steer. Yep. And guess what happens next? 
appetizers. Uh oh. They even they're even perfect bite size. Put a good breading on them and throw them in the deep fire, and they're really good and very very tender. So there's the whole gang of them. <laughs> hey, that oh, looks like what I can't fish with. Oh, they do look like fried oysters. So here's my. No, I think there's one more picture. Hold on, that's Barry Bonds again. See, I, that don't. Okay. That Zoom looks stringy. That. Zoom in on that. I need to see what that texture is. Stringy. Oh. No. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I would just politely and respectfully recline. I, I <laughs> Not even decline. Okay. He's just going to recline. <laughs> Ew, no, yeah, thank decline. you. I said, I just respectfully decline. Oh, I'm not interested. Boy. Yeah, I just don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. If that's what, I don't know what this is. It's like they heated them up on an anvil or something. Oh, they they grilling some? Huh. They grilling, boys. And, and Blackened. I've never claimed to be the toughest man around, but if that's what it takes, you, I'm out. Well, I'm I'm still like I said. I, I used need to, to say, go back to that bucket. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> I mean, oh, not that one. That one's bad. Nope. Yeah. That one right there is a little more palatable. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I just don't know, man. I ain't into it. No. Nope. I mean, so I I mean I guess. I get no. waste not, want not, I, I, but like and dislike. Okay, Clint Eastwood that's said had my, a pretty good line about right, that. I it. will say that does look good. Like oh, you tricked hey. me with you could get me yep. and say those were oysters and I would try right. it and then Clint Eastwood's right. A man's got to know his limitations. Okay, right. hey, buzzards got to eat same as worms. Hey, yeah. That's my limitations. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, yeah. All right, how much for you I, to bite one? Nope. They're hitting them out. Nope. Johnny D? Oh, yeah, there's always a oh, I, Oh, I'm no, aware. no, no. With me, I can't I be bought. Like, if I don't, I can like be them, rented. No. I ate that whole thing no. of hog head cheese and then threw it up for, it was $400. See, that's crazy because hog head cheese. Good. When I tell yeah. you, it was a substantial but amount. If you eat oh, no, a no. lot of it. Yeah. I, I It'll love make most you cheese, sick. But that, no, that's the same thing. Well, that ain't cheese. If, I, well, I'm just saying, hey, that's why I'm saying it. If I look at it and I, if I smell it, no. Nah. If the nose in my eyes say no, it's no. So can I blindfold you and put a clothespin no. on your no. nose? No, no. I wouldn't even do it then. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten? Not much, cause I'm not a I'm not an adventurous. Yeah, you don't have an adventurous no. palate. I, yeah, I don't have no. I look. I would just taste it. No, sir. Chicken liver. I don't. No chicken liver. I I I you know. Gizzard. Yeah, I, I just there's some things, you know, but hey, no. I'm just like, trying to like, figure out. You know, Mount no. Nauseous, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Not under any circumstances. <laughs> I just, I guess it's the same deal, though. The first person that looked at a crawfish and said, you know what, we ought to try him. I guess the first person that looked at that testicle said, you know what, we probably ought to eat that. People are into it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Probably all and it. It just, it's just one of them things. They're delicacies, hey, essentially. It, hey, like that's the thing. Well, there's only two of them. You know? Yeah, they're hard to find. <laughs> you get way more ribs out of them. Yeah, you can't grow them. Yeah, I mean, once they're, I mean, you know well, you could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could. I, mean, I just, no. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm not going to. I'm saying I don't want to. There is a number though. And it's low. <clears throat> there's a number, and there's a situation. I mean, I get hungry enough, and that cow's my last thing to well, eat. No, I'm no, probably hey, going to eat came, every piece of no, it. No, no, if you came, if it came to that, yeah. you know, I would probably even if I'm starving to death. Didn't you eat some mountain lion one time? Yeah, I tried some mountain lion jerky. Well, was, what was it like? Jerky. I mean, you put enough you soy sauce, something? salt, and all that mess to it. It was fine. I ate some pronghorn backstrap. That was not very good. What is it about the goat family? Oh, I guess it's their <laughs> diet because that sucker no, no. tastes. But you'd have loved it because to me it tasted like pure sage, and I'm not a big sage fan. I mean, I like sage in little doses, but he'd been out there eating sagebrush, I guess. So he was like so marinated with sage. Yeah, okay. It was like, That's pretty yeah. wild. Mm. That's pretty wild when you think. Uh, yeah. 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 So you know, is he a little musty? Yeah, just. I mean, it tastes like you went and took a big bite of a sage bush. I was like, well, see, that's like people tell me, okay, like I, I would never eat one. But people tell me rattlesnake is really good. I've eaten. See, snakes. that's what he said about us, but I ain't eating no snake. I've eaten well, no, some no, no, snake. See, that's it just it with me. I'm not eating a, a, a reptile. That snake one of them things, though, 
but snake snake one of them things it's hard to not overcook him because it's such a thin piece of meat so oh, no. he's just chewy yeah. white meat yeah. like he's not it's not i don't again if you're hungry oh well, yeah. no no absolutely if I, oh, oh that I, sucker on a fire and starving, pick the meat off whatever i could catch to get my hands on i'd eat it but frog's good you know, alligator well, is see, that's no, overrated. You know, most yeah, people love it, especially chewy. my family. They love frog. I can I can eat them, but I ain't real fond of them. Now, I'm, that, I'm with him on them. Frog. Barely legal frogs is good. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> like I said, you know, they're edible. Okay, I can eat them, but, but you got to have the one that comes I'm just not really over fun, the measure. Fond of them. Mm -hmm. Them big old giant bull frogs ain't much to me. I don't, no. I don't. But them, them that's just whatever. They got to be five inches. Them it's about five and a half or six. Them suckers is good. That's you know. a good time. They're, they're good. So I don't, you know, I it just depends on where but you go. People always you. say, "Oh, it tastes like chicken." No, it don't. don't. It tastes like frog. No, it don't. It 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 has nothing, that, no flavor in it that tastes like a chicken. Uh, yeah. If you buy them at the store, they taste like a mineral bucket. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, they're yeah. no good if you buy them at the store. Go catch them yourself. Yeah. They way fresh. better. Fresh is always the best. Fresh is always best. We got what? We got like 15 days and it'll be frog season again. So. Oh, speaking of that, I seen one the other day. On a, a frog or? Uh, yeah, a big one. On Where was pond, it? On a pond. What pond? <laughs> Over by McMillan's house. Oh, okay. And I'm talking about, hey, it was one of them. Boy, yeah. One of them groanings. Big. <laughs> Biggest one I ever seen, though, was, hey, we put a tape measure on him. 36 inches. <laughs> you saw a three hey, foot frog. Hey, from the that's a Komodo dragon. Here, from the tip of his mouth to his uh, last well. toe on his flipper, yeah, three yeah. foot. And then, big. Uh, look, hey, and I'm telling you, look, hey, his legs look like a turkey leg. Just tucker was that big around, <laughs> and he was caught on Red River. Uh, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, that was a what, hawk. What's the what's the state record? Well, oh, I have no idea. Upstream or but downstream that, from the plant? I, oh no, that hey, that <laughs> joker was big. Oh no, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree the, with you on that. The largest okay. living frog can grow up to thirteen inches. Uh oh, right. well, oh wait! I showed them that one. They'd say that's wrong. The largest bullfrog ever was twelve point six inches and weighed seven point three pounds. Well, hey, we have one bigger than that. Well, that's. Well, that's twelve. That's twelve inches SVL snout vent length. So, like from the tip of his nose to his booty, not, well, to, not to his toe. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. Now we stretch yeah. this out because yeah. you got to think. Frog got long legs now. Impressive. Yeah. That's hey, that you, sucker ain't got no twenty-four well, inch hey, legs. Here's the deal. <laughs> hey, here's the deal. You don't want them frog gigs that you can buy the clamp mm -hmm. clothes. This it wasn't clothes on him. We just stuck him down in the mud. And grabbed him. Three foot frog. <laughs> and we, hey, we put a tape measure on that joker. He was three foot long. You know, one right of, behind him was a black panther. There, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, he may have been, but hey, I'm It was the you. night of the lunar landing. <laughs> <laughs> and it all happened on the moon. That's right. I, I can hey, tell you this. I have been too. One of the toughest jobs in America is to be the, the boat man when Jace Robertson is on the front of the boat frog hunting. Well, especially, especially when you got what you've talked no about. No thanks. For the stupid, uh, <laughs> what do they call? The long Mud tail. motor. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you, need, you need an outboard motor doing frog going up in front. Like, no, you don't need one of them no, uh, no, you mud don't. buggy. You just need a yeah, you do. You just need a different team. <laughs> no. <laughs> New squad. <laughs> All right, trust me when I tell you, it's a lot easier if you got a, a nice five-horse uh, murder. Motor and just hey, boom, 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 and yeah. I will say forth. this though: the man is the best frog catcher oh, hey. I've ever laid my. Oh, eyes. he's incredible. Oh, he loves them too. He loves them. That's he's why. Part, he part bull frog. Yeah, it's yeah. hard yeah. running a motor for him. I tell you that. <laughs> no, you go with Jace. You want to be the ice chest man. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. right. open <laughs> that lid. Throw him in there. You don't <laughs> want no responsibility yeah. other than open that lid. I could uh, probably do that. You want to be middle maybe of the boat? Maybe not. <laughs> I could probably still screw we, that up. Hey, we took a guy from high school with us okay he's a real good with a bow okay born there okay so he went frog frog hunting with me. he said when y'all gonna let me shoot one with my with my bow well he said well okay so it's pretty good size one up there good one really big one so i right, shoot that and well <clears throat> he shot him right in the middle of the back well it just stuck to him well when the frog jumped it broke the arrow and the next thing we see is just the feathers going down the the bow 
<laughs> yeah. So we said, well, you're out with the bow hunting. What? Yeah. Yeah. So look, hey, but then he made a correction. He said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it, let me shoot. And I, we seen a little old bit, and we said, okay. So look, the next one he shot, all you do is instead of sticking them right in the middle, just stick them right through the edge of the nose. That way they back up, and then you just go up and pick them up and pull the air out. You know, hey, look. <laughs> so, you know, hey. Hey, Otherwise, Donnie D, you... we need to get into Scripture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we well, need to get into Scripture. We got one email in today. Um, I got another one. I got you a good one. I think we've no, probably. i that one. Most of those, those there's, yeah. Right. Yeah, Let's I think go. we got, I got a good Scripture for today's. Okay. Frog, Rocky Mountain Oyster. Uh, I, oh, I fit it. To each his own, whatever they want to eat. And here's the verse that tells us that. Acts 10, 13. Then a voice told him, get up, Peter, kill. Arise, and kill. Right. Arise, kill, and eat. I, you, I went NIV. You were doing something. All the four-footed animals. That's right. That's it. Hey, he gave us permission to eat what we want right there. But for Acts. those that dislike it. We don't have to. As, yeah. as Phil says, orders from headquarters. That's right. Order. Orders from head. Eat what you want. Arrive, if you want kill and eat to people. be like Canada, go for it. Go be for Canadian. It. Hey. All right. We'll see y'all next time. Right We're out.